Once upon a time, visionaries dreamed of a mega city powered by geothermal energy in a tiny Central American country known as El Salvador. Engineers and architects began designing the dream at the base of the Izalco volcano. The city gained momentum and the world watched in awe at the remarkable innovation and engineering. El Salvador is a country with high geothermal activity. The country has more than 20 volcanoes. The volcanoes are part of tourist attractions and a geothermal energy source. Geothermal sources generate a quarter of El Salvador's electricity. This makes the country the leader worldwide in geothermal utilization. El Salvador's Volcano Megacity is a proposed project by the government to build a large city powered by geothermal energy from volcanoes. The country is taking advantage of natural resources such as the volcano activities to generate power for the megacity's infrastructure, homes, businesses, and transport systems. Geological History of El Salvador Volcano Let's have a glimpse of the volcanic geology of El Salvador. The mountain range is home to an active volcano that has been spewing ash and lava for centuries. The volcano erupted 300 years ago, spilling ash and lava across the landscape. The eruption was so powerful that it created a new landscape and ecosystem. The eruption also affected the economic landscape of the area. The ash and lava created fertile soil. Farmers rejoiced as they were able to do better farming. This led to an economic boom. There has not been a volcano eruption since 1824, when President Bukele outlined his plan for a volcano-powered Bitcoin city in El Salvador in 2021. Many were keen to dismiss it as an unfeasible futuristic idea. Securing the distributed ledger by proof-of-work computer processing, Bitcoin mining demands vast amounts of energy. This made many people dismiss the entire cryptocurrency sector as ecologically non-viable without understanding that this very energy is where blockchain security comes from. A clean local renewable energy source sounds like the perfect solution. But when a world leader talks about mining Bitcoin from volcanoes, to some, it may sound like creating value out of thin air. Do you think Bitcoin is worth the energy? Let us know your answer in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to never miss out on the newest videos on architecture and mega projects. Where is El Salvador's Volcano Megacity located? The Volcano Megacity will be located near Sun Blas, situated on the slopes of the Izalco Volcano. The centerpiece of the city's infrastructure is the Santa Ana Geothermal Power Plant, which converts the energy generated by the Santa Ana Volcano to helpful power. The power plant can generate over 200 megawatts of electricity, making it one of the largest plants in the world. The megacity is designed to incorporate geothermal power into all aspects of its infrastructure, such as heating and cooling and transport systems. Heat from Izalco and Santa Ana volcanoes will be used to generate electricity, which will power buildings in the city. The buildings will be comfortable all year round as the generated power will be used to heat and in coolant systems. The buildings of the megacity are like towering giants, stretching towards the sky like trees in a dense forest. They are sleek and modern and curved shapes that mirror the contours of the surrounding volcano mountains. The streets are like veins pulsing with life and activity, while parks and green spaces are like oases, providing relaxation from the urban jungle. Energy costs will be reduced and greenhouse gas emissions will be reduced. Bitcoin Theme City The El Salvador megacity will be funded by cryptocurrency. The city will be circular, representing the shape of a giant coin designed by Mexican architect Fernando Romero, the founder of the architecture studio FREE. Did you know El Salvador is the first country to use Bitcoin as a legal tender? El Salvador introduced virtual currency as a legal tender alongside US dollar. The proposed city will be funded by the sale of a Bitcoin bond and powered by geothermal energy. 
The fantastic model of the city shows a centered city that radiates out from a central plaza marked with the Bitcoin logo. Bukele revealed images of several landmark buildings that would be built in plazas alongside the caption, Landmarks and All, and the pictures of a rounded airport. The circular city was designed by Romero, who previously collaborated with Foster Partners to design the Mexico City Airport. The overall plan reminds of his studio's proposal for a city spanning across the U.S.-Mexico border. Despite initial renderings showing a completely golden city, President Bukele tempered expectations by sharing more realistic designs and confirming that only certain parts of the city would have a golden finish. The town is primarily green and blue, with a beautiful lookout at the volcano. As part of the plans for the new city, President Bukele announced that a viewpoint would be constructed at the summit of the volcano. When President Nayib Bukele introduced the outlandish move to use Bitcoin as a legal tender, protests broke down in the country. There were fears that cryptocurrency would bring instability, inflation to the Latin American country. While addressing the citizens' concerns, President Bukele at a promotional Bitcoin event said the planned city would include everything. The government released a new digital wallet app and every citizen was given $30 in Bitcoin. It was a move to boost economic development and jobs. El Salvador's funding strategy for the city involves the issuance of a $10 billion bond with half the proceeds earmarked for infrastructure and the remainder invested in Bitcoin. However, what would happen to the new bonds if the country defaulted on its existing traditional bonds is unclear. Additionally, the use of Bitcoin as a currency is controversial due to its volatility and fluctuating value. No Income Tax President Bikeli said that no income tax would be levied in the city. They would have a value-added tax. Half of this revenue gained will be used to build up the town, and the rest will be used for maintenance. Mining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is a sophisticated process using computers to solve complex mathematical problems. It is an expensive and challenging process that takes a lot of energy. High-Tech Metropolis The El Salvador geothermal-powered megacity also envisions a modern high-tech metropolis. It is a model of urban sustainability and development. It will have green spaces, bike paths, and footpaths. The megacity will encourage healthy living. The city is a hub of innovation and entrepreneurship, with research facilities taking center stage. A city for all. The city is focused on social inclusion. The engineers are designing a city accessible to people from all walks of life. Affordable housing, community centers, and public places will be available to enhance social life. The El Salvador megacity has large parks and green places which provide recreation and relaxation points for the citizens. El Salvador megacity is still in the planning stage. However, it is facing challenges and criticism. Environmental groups are not happy with the impact on the ecosystem from the project. Given its ecological and transparency shortcomings, the World Bank is reluctant to support it. Building a megacity from scratch is not a walk in the park. Financing such a giant project is still a challenge. The government will cater for some of the funding while the private sector will take the rest. On the bright side, the project could serve as a model for sustainable development worldwide. It demonstrates the potential of renewable energy sources to power megacities. The El Salvador megacity is a shining example of resilience, creativity, and a testament to nature's power. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, and comment on your favorite part of this project.